How much can you tell me about how much the show is real and how much is extrapolated? Well, it's a fictional show <laughs> um, based on a compilation of people and experiences. But I think we live in a world where the news is happening while the news is happening. And everybody's a reporter who has a cell phone. Everybody wants their story to be told. So we watch TV and we say, what's the truth? Who are the heroes? Who are the villains? And I think that's why it's so relevant right now. I agree with that. How much relevance do you think, like, as you talked about the news cycle now, but like our election today has brought up so much questions of like, what is even truth? <laughs> and who's going to believe the truth when it's told? So how much is incorporated in the show? Well, you'll never watch the news the same way again after you see Notorious, because you see the kind of wheeling and dealing and negotiations and bargains and favors that go into a nightly news broadcast now. It's a whole different world. So how much have you worked with Piper Parabo on the character, on backstory? Well, she's amazing, and she's such a dedicated, um, collaborative actor, and I'm lucky to have so many scenes with her. And we also have a trailer right next to each other, so we can talk about the scenes. We don't have a lot of time on these schedules. That's what I want yeah. <laughs> Your character is um, kind of a mess personally. But well, I would describe it as a mess. I think she's a sexually liberated, free, joyful, single millionaire. I think that's a great way of describing her. So, do you and my brother have a are we a mess? <laughs> no. Are your characters, do you have more of a positive relationship? Like, is she trying to lift you up? Or do you have much more tension? Going well, I think it's an interesting relationship. And I love what the writers are doing because we are developing a friendship. And yet, professionally, I'm a bit of a handful. And I think you're going to see that play out throughout the season, that kind of conflict. And how much of the conflict is derived from the cases and right. how much would you say is a personal kind of Gosh, it's really a, a combination of both. I mean, I think for our relationship, we both want the same thing, which is to be the number one news broadcast and to stay on top. <laughs> Having said that, I want her to do her job as my producer, and I want to enjoy my life. And so <laughs> I don't have to work as hard. Yes. And she's such a phenomenal <laughs> producer, so we can have very different work ethics. <laughs> Finally, what is it that drew you specifically? to the project and how did it come about like how did it come together I guess? well this is my dream world I mean I was in New York on Broadway and I got sent this script and I just thought I wonder if I'd ever have a chance to play a part like this she was so spectacular so funny so dangerous yeah she's already she's already yeah. seems amazing and I think to be a woman for someone who's the CEO of her own life is a great gift to any actor any actress <laughs> so do you think it's overall a positive portrayal of a powerful woman because like you said she's more liberated than she yes, is. Yes, I can't, I, it's not for me to say what's positive. <laughs> I can tell you I'm playing a complete, complicated, successful, really interesting woman. She's not perfect, but she ain't dull. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.